Let's uh, move on to our second topic, which is going to be. Let's see if I can do this, y'all. This could be a good one, actually. Uh, Phil Robertson's Appalling Atheist Fantasy. So here we go. It's a video topic. Here we go. Maybe if you just buy enough health care insurance, <laughs> that'll keep you out of the ground. I don't think so. Save you money. You got a six foot hole waiting on you if you have all the health care you can buy. You say, is it going to keep me out of the ground? No, sir. It's a problem. And you know something? You can't solve it. Just like you can't see in your sin problem. Oh, I, I mean, I, I, I don't know this conscience thing. I mean, we just, we just dreamed it up. There's no right. There's no wrong. There's no good. There's no evil. I'll make a bet with you. Two guys break into an atheist home. He has a little atheist wife and two little atheist daughters. Two guys break into his home and tie him up in a chair and gag him. And then they take his two daughters in front of him and rape both of them and then shoot them. And they take his wife and decapitate her head off in front of him. And then they can look at him and say, isn't it great to not have to worry about being judged? Isn't it great that there's nothing wrong with this? There's no right or wrong. Now is it, dude? And then you take a sharp knife and take his manhood and hold it in front of him and say, wouldn't it be something if this was something wrong with this? But you're the one that says there's no God, there's no right, there's no wrong. So we're just having fun. We're sick in the head. Have a nice day. If it happened to them, they probably would say something about this. It just ain't right. The one thing that's very disturbing about that is the people clapping in the background. That I think that's the most disturbing because people are actually yeah. agreeing with this fucking he's, nutbag. He's, and it's just yeah. like appalling to me that... He's given a fucking microphone and a platform and that's a goddamn prayer breakfast. Breakfast. We're yeah, eating in Florida, right? Eggs in Florida? and what? bacon and shit and listening to that. And What's they, the difference between him doing speaking. that shit at a prayer breakfast and these fucking videos that you see i know it's more extreme but the the rhetoric the um the idea behind it the passion behind it the whole you know whatever so you have phil robertson going in front of a prayer breakfast like that and saying that shit and then you have uh photos of mosque in uh other countries where they actually are preaching how much they hate america and how much they hate atheists and how much they hate jews and how much they should die and they have all these weird fucking fantasies they cock up What's the difference between these fucking assholes who are doing that, spewing this extreme hatred, it's the same, and this asshole on getting on stage yeah, and spewing this extreme it's hatred? It's the same type of hate, uh, extremism. Of course it is, Phil's One sick motherfucker, and the GOP seems to fucking like him. I, I'm like, it's a prayer breakfast. You should be talking about the good, how we can help this country, how we can help with shit like poverty and education, shit like that, not hating on a fucking yeah. demographic. I mean, like... I, I mean, like, and he's saying this at a Christian fucking event, and I'm sure most Christians out there, I'll put this out there, probably don't agree with this motherfucker. And, like, I've been saying for many fucking years, I've been saying this for years, we see the demographic of the Christians coming down to America and the United States, and the non-affiliated going up. We see this, and there's a new poll that just came out, which I would like to talk about maybe in the after show. It just came out two days ago. I've been saying this for years. When the religious... Right starts losing the battles, their numbers start declining, civil rights and basic human rights laws start kicking in. They will become more extreme in their presence, attitude, lies, and insanity. You know, we, we see it happening, especially with Phil Robertson here. He's a prime fucking example. And the GOPers, most of them, many of them, are fucking loving him, dude. Loving him, being so hateful. I'm like, you see the shit that he's done in the past. This ain't the first time Phil Robertson has, has, has spoken this type of hatred. It won't be the last. No, it won't be the last. It won't be the last, I, I, yeah. One quick thing to say about this. Um, does he think bad things don't happen to the yeah, faithful exactly Bingo. Christians or yeah. shit. like that's the it's number three impossible like you're like oh something's wrong about this yeah yeah something's wrong about that and everyone agrees you understand like the christians agree the muslims agree the atheists agree the, even the scientologists agree on this one don't break into people's house houses and fucking tie them up and gag them and then like rape their kids and 
kill kill their wife, like all kinds of crazy shit, and cut off your junk. Why? Nobody wants that to happen to them, so they understand why it should be wrong. That's right. called empathy and common motherfucking sense. If you need empathy. Jesus in order to not go out and do shit like that, because that's basically what he's saying. He's basically saying this is the kind of shit that would be just fun if there was no Jesus. Well, that means if this guy didn't believe in Jesus or there was no Jesus to keep him in line, he'd be the kind of motherfucker going out and doing it. It's like your conscience takes a 180, you know what I mean? If you yeah. don't have God in your yeah. life. It's well, at, like, at it's least a, that's what he's ridiculous. implying. That's yeah. what I was going to say is I always found it amusing being lectured on morality by people like this who think yeah. that their morals are based on authority. As soon as you say morality comes from God, you've just shown me that you know absolutely nothing about how morality actually works. Correct. And like TJ was saying, Pat Robertson had one. If you let gays get married, everybody's going to love like anal sex and stuff like that. And We'll start having sex with dogs. Pat Robertson is saying, if it weren't for his Bible, he would be like balls deep in the Doverman pincher right now. Like, <laughs> that, that should like bother exactly. the shit out of people, dude. It's fucking horrible. <laughs> I would pay to watch that video. <laughs> so with Pat would, would Robertson, you please keep the, keep the dog talk down. We uh, we have oh, a yeah, special guest. Oh yeah, that's right. We don't we don't want to trigger creationist cat. Go, Paul. <clears throat> well, thank uh, you for just exhibiting a smidgen of respect. So, sorry about that. It's all yeah, right. I apologize. I, mean, look, I apologize. It's all right. You guys are idiots. It's all right. That's it. Uh, with Phil yeah, Robertson, well, not Pat Robertson, since he, sorry, got a little mistake in there. But Phil Robertson, uh, his whole thing right with this, he's talking about how he, uh, there's no right or wrong. There's no right or wrong if you're an atheist uh, because they always go back to being right or wrong. Morality comes from the Bible. So if we don't have the Bible, we don't have God, uh, there is no morality. So we just, you know, we can just go out there and kill someone and don't think twice about it because that's how we are, atheists. We just don't give a fuck about anyone else. And then he goes on to talk about, well, uh, you know, if you, you'd hold the guy's dick in front of him and say, isn't it okay? We can cut this off. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, remind me, Phil. David, yeah. What religion advocates cutting the foreskin off of uh, babies once they're born for no good fucking reason. That's a good reason. Judaism, you know. but uh, <laughs> I would love to hear and, this. And, Go ahead. And Christians, but David also, David, you know, he had to cut off what was a five hundred foreskin. Oh, he there. had a, he so had to collect. Yeah, he had to collect a bag of, of fucking foreskins. Like, yeah, like skin off the end of people's dead people's. <laughs> That's dicks. super easy. I could do that in two minutes. All you got to do is break into Drew's freaking bedroom. All right, and then go go over to the nightstand, open the drawer, bam, five hundred foreskins. Yes. And See, then, did he uh, deep fry them? I wonder. Because then, like, make be pork rinds oh, back then or something. Yeah, some, like, they're probably tasty back then, yeah. Uh, what, what I want to say here real quick, and we get CC in here, is um, it, it just amazes me the misperception people have when it comes to an atheist. You know, an atheist, we just disagree. We just don't believe a god exists or any god's ever existed. That's all it is. It doesn't tell you how moral we are as a person. No and void, man. We 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 don't we, that you can't you can't say well you're an atheist well you believe this no or you act like this or you believe no you can't. There's nothing. I mean like it. Our morality came from you know basically in, due to our evolution, the evolution of our species. You know that's basically where our moral and, and also society. Also, I'll put that out there too. But the problem I have what he said was <clears throat> quote your sin problem. He has this big issue about sin. You know. Uh, I'll speak for myself being an atheist, is I, I don't believe in this concept of sin, sin and forgiveness. I, I believe it's a dangerous concept that the Christians adhere to. I believe it's very dangerous. Uh, you, and when it comes to a Christian viewpoint, being a fundamentalist or a devout Christian, and you're sort of, I would say out there, many people are weak-minded, you don't tend to take on your own personal responsibility. You try to scapegoat that onto Jesus. You go to church, ask for forgiveness, and all is done. And it's a rinse and repeat process. I don't believe in that. If I did somebody wrong, I try to say, you know, yeah, I fucked. Yeah, I should have never did that. Let me apologize and, and let me learn from my mistakes. At least we all try to do that, I would say. You know what I mean? I'm not going to speak for everybody here on the panel, but that's the problem with it. And it basically, he says there's no right or wrong, no evil. Well, yeah, we do believe in right and wrong. I mean, like, that's, we evolved this way. That's our mentality. Everybody has a different type of mentality, you know, what they believe in, what they don't want to believe in. Yeah, so we just we just don't to. believe there there is like a being that personifies yeah and tells me what evil to do and, and like and like just yeah. like I don't know like magically puts it on other people or something like that. 
Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's shifting responsibility away from the person from exactly. what their actions. It's eh, yeah. Yeah, I, I think if you learn from your wrongdoings, it'll make you a better person. I think you don't need religion to help you through the process. Even though I understand religion does help people through that process, I understand that there are people that are just weak-minded, it, it, for lack of better words, I should say, is they just can't handle doing wrong, and they just feel like it's going to damage them forever if they don't have it's this imaginary friend to ask for forgiveness i guess i don't know but what's extra funny is the projection that they then use on atheists to the, to say it's atheists are just scared to deal with consequences they're just scared to deal with consequences i'm like oh ouch the projection is like <laughs> me so hard yeah you yeah. know I, I, uh, hardcore well, uh, I, we're bashing christians a lot here uh why don't we hear from one, yeah uh, I, I think our happen? feline friend here might have something yeah i think so. uh cc man chime on in man i know you want to talk about this you, topic too go ahead our pussy okay. friend here yeah all right guys you are totally freaking ignorant of what is going on here all right this is a comedy routine this is a comedy routine <laughs> that phil robertson is doing and, you know, I, I'm friends with Phil Robertson, okay? I've hunted with him. I've karaoke with him. And if you've seen my videos, you'd know that I've done a highly successful stand-up comedy tour with him. <laughs> you did, yeah. And, uh, by, by the way, here, here, here's, here's a, a little... What would God has to do to convince him he loved him. Come down in flesh and die a horrible death for their sexual sins and their lying and stealing? He did it! And if he did all that, just think what he'd do for a Klondike bar. Okay, so I know the comic genius of Phil Robertson, okay? I am very well acquainted with his sense of humor. <laughs> and uh, basically, uh, I, uh, you know, I, I think you guys are totally misreading the, uh, what he had to say. Right off the bat, he, when, when he was talking about the wife and daughters, he said his little atheist wife and two little daughters. He's talking about midgets. He's talking about midgets there. <laughs> it's so much funnier when you think of midgets getting raped and murdered. Okay, am I right? So, am I right? So Everybody knows I'm right. So it's a context issue. It's a oh. it's par partially a context issue, and um, you know, uh, you know, I, I I think possibly I could be wrong. He may have been trying to do uh, an uh, the aristocrats bit, and and it just kind of went a little wrong. Do you guys sure. know the aristocrats? Uh, yeah, oh, the yeah. cats. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and finally, you know, I mean, look, Phil Robertson is like Carrot Top, one of the, the, the great uh, prop comedians of our time. And so, like, when he was talking about slicing off the guy's dick, <sighs> I'm sure he had, like, uh, like, a raw hot dog or something in his, you know, something that was like, boy, yang, yang, yang. And it, I'm <laughs> telling you, if you would have seen it rather than just heard it, it would have been way funnier. We'd all be laughing right now. You'd all be like, oh, yeah, that is that is what it's like to be an atheist. But because of the fact that, that these, you know, that, that, that these uh, Internet news agencies are not interested in showing the full context, we're here. You guys are all uh, confused. And, you know, that's really, that's it. That's that's what's going on here. It's, it's, wait a second. It's total wait a second. <clears throat> You you spoke about how it was obviously midgets and that's funny, but aren't aren't house cats like the midgets of the cat like you know world Damn. cat species? Damn, the felines aren't aren't you kind of the midgets? I mean, I I struggle to think <laughs> of a small. Well, that's like saying that humans are the midgets of the monkey community of of, of the <laughs> ape slash gorilla community. I mean, we we happen to have. Uh, many advantages over saber-toothed tigers and tigers and lions and uh you know fuck it man I i'll take on a, a bengal tiger any day you 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 only th you know you're you're just very uh you you don't realize how capable us cats are in those sorts of situations you haven't seen it you haven't seen a lion take on a cat you're it's absolutely brutal. right um i see of cats is random shit on youtube and 
usually don't come out looking so great. I'll be honest with you. Uh huh. Well, okay, that's it. that's neither here nor there. You <laughs> you you don't you don't have the, uh, the 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 proof right here to you know to to say that. So look, I mean, cats. <laughs> look, man, we 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 rule. We rule. Cats rule. Dogs drool. Scientific fact. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's awesome. I, say, I thought you were going to say cats rule, dogs drool, atheists go to hell. Yeah, well, that silence. too. Yeah. That too. I forgot that part. <laughs> I forgot that part.